go, folks. It's prime time. Right now, Origin is creating worlds that are going to knock your socks off in 1994, starting with the unveiling of a new type of game altogether. BioForge is the first in Origin's interactive movie line, games that blend the best of technology and Hollywood. Starting as the lead character, you have to discover who's behind the operation that left your mind a clean slate and your body half a machine. You'll have absolute control over a three-dimensional actor moving through beautifully rendered 3D sets. Non-player characters are just as detailed. Some of them even have reflective surfaces. And cinematic techniques like switching camera angles, cutaways, and quick edits, coupled with an involving storyline and a dynamic soundtrack, give BioForge the look and pace of a major motion picture. But working out of a silicon studio means even more. We also go through a process of understanding how the character will move from room to room. We have to worry not just about the front and sides of a set, which the ca a camera would normally focus on, but every single side of the set so that you can move through it as though you're moving through, and you are moving through a real world. Pagan is the eighth installment of the award-winning Ultima series of fantasy role-playing games, and Britannia never looked like this. With twice the amount of artwork and an almost 100-fold increase in animation for the main character of the Avatar, long-time Ultima fans won't believe their eyes. In Ultima 8, the Avatar is banished to the land of Pagan. His epic quest there is to defeat the elemental titans in order to square off once again with the all-powerful Guardian. Ultima 8 has turned fairly significantly from the history of the Ultima series, which has always been bigger and bigger and bigger worlds to go explore, which also meant they were harder and harder and more and more daunting for new players to enter as, as well as even for the old players to follow along with. And this time we have uh, uh, started with a whole new concept of trying to increase the audio-visual impact of the game, but package it in a smaller physical environment. Wings of Glory takes you back to the days when war in the sky was still a battle between men. No missiles, no radar, not even a radio. Just a canvas-covered plane, a machine gun, and your wits. Origin's real space graphics engine makes the planes come alive in the up-close and personal dogfighting style of the Great War. You'll fly five different aircraft against 22 planes, zeppelins, and so-called sausage observation balloons. An instant mission generator lets you custom design your battles, and a built-in flight recorder lets you watch them all over again, even trade them with your friends. In Wings of Glory, you join the British Royal Flying Corps and later the American side. Along the way, you'll make some enemies and lose some friends. The plot is reminiscent of classic films like The Blue Max and Dawn Patrol. I mean, there was kind of a magic to it. I mean, guys going up and flying in their pajamas and, uh, you know, silk scarf waving and uh, that kind of thing. You know, we wanted to go for, for the, uh, the excitement of, uh, and innocence almost of that sort of uh, 30s and 40s kind of movie. With Pacific Strike, you have a chance to rewrite the history books. The attack on Pearl Harbor once again thrusts America into World War II and you into the cockpit. This story will take you through every major Pacific theater where you will dodge zero gunfire, drop a few airborne torpedoes, maybe even jump in the back seat and blast away with a tail gun. Every cockpit is fully modeled in 3D with three different targeting views, or if you prefer open skies, no cockpit at all. If you survive, you'll rise in rank and choose from eight different aircraft, all richly detailed with Origin's real space graphics engine. Fly well and aim true because history hangs in the balance. You can change the outcome of the war. You can make it uh, end earlier, you can make it end later. You can actually prevent the atomic bomb from being dropped. Uh, or you could actually wind up losing the war uh, as the Americans and wind up having the Americans suing for peace rather than the Japanese. Looking ahead to the future, Origin will bring a new look to first-person perspective games with System Shock. The same creative talents who built the Dungeons of Ultima Underworld now take a high-tech, high-res approach to science fiction. System Shock fuses the fast-paced action of an adventure game with its own cyberspace storyline. As the lone survivor aboard a remote space station, you have to find a way to beat a supercomputer which has seized control of the robotic security forces and the biological research facilities, a journey which will take you inside the computer itself. An arsenal of weapons, real-world physics, and incredible graphics will pull you right into your own computer. Just picture yourself as the hero of uh, an alien movie. 
You know, you're right there looking through Ripley's eyes. And Origin blasts into 3DO in a big way with Super Wing Commander. The battle against the tiger like Kilrathi rages on, and you're the last hope for a mankind's survival. Form on my wing. My honor is to obey. You fight like a stillborn kitten. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. The game, which set the visual standard for PC entertainment, has been totally redrawn and overhauled with unbeatable 16 bit graphics. Like its namesake, Super Wing Commander packs an engaging storyline, top flight space combat, and now full digitized speech and orchestral soundtrack onto a single optical disc. But this new pop and play version does even more. We've added cinematic sequences, uh, we've increased the level of detail throughout the game, and it, it really, you know, it takes advantage of the new technology with an already proven classic game. So there you have it, just a taste of what's on the way from Origin, coming to a screen near you in 1994.